Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video So we're gonna be going over the 10 best brawlers in the game right now according to win rate So let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what they are So coming in at number 10 with a 56.8 win rate we have Grom So Grom is a pretty weird brawler I really didn't expect him to be here in terms of win rate But I can kind of see how he's really good in modes that he specializes in So in bounty and knockout uh, he's just really good in those modes. His super is actually one of the best supers in the game. It's kind of almost like a guaranteed kill. Now, don't look at your screen right now. I'm not the best Grom. Uh, but he's kind of like a guaranteed kill when you get the super. And in modes like Bounty and in Knockout, that's really, really good. Um, he's just a really good brawler. Definitely would recommend using him. Uh, a little bit weird that he's in the top 10. I really wouldn't expect it, but he is. Let's move on to number 9. Now, coming in at number 9 with a 57.3 win rate. Again, surprisingly, we have Sandy. Now, if you guys want to see these win rates, it's actually available for all of you guys and can be actually filtered per map. You just have to go to Brawlify. I'm going to be putting the link in the description below. Thank you to them, you know, for providing stats. Uh, but yeah, number 9, we got Sandy. Sandy's actually been slightly creeping into the meta a little bit more. Uh, he's, I don't know, he's just kind of slimy, he's kind of, you know, underwhelming, but he's a really good support. Support characters are really important in this game and have been more meta than ever, I think, right now. And I don't know, I would just highly recommend using Sandy in modes, especially like Brawl Ball, like Gem Grab, where you can get a really good value out of the stun, either getting a goal, saving a goal, killing the gem carrier, etc. The Sandy Super, of course, is good everywhere, so, you know, use it as much as you can. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the number 9 Brawler, let's move on to number 8. Now, coming in with a 57.5 win rate, we have Ash. Now, Ash, in my opinion, now a lot of people think tanks are not very skilled. It's kind of just auto aim mash, and the range brawlers are skilled. I kind of think the opposite. I think if you can kind of aim, then, you know, you're capable of aiming. I think that's kind of mechanical skill. It's a little bit different than being really good and having a really high skill cap. It's kind of just hitting shots, but I think Ash is actually one of the highest, if not the highest skill cap brawler in the game. Uh, it's really, really good if you have an understanding on how to use it. Um, it's just a force to be reckoned with. Uh, it's the number 8 brawler, I think I just said, in the game. And that's pretty surprising given how complex it could actually be. But yeah, this brawler has almost a 60% win rate. I would highly recommend using it uh, and practicing being really good at it. Because you can become an absolute menace in 1v3 games on Ash. Let's move on to number 7. So coming in at number 7 with a 58.4 win rate, we have Griff. Now, I would argue Griff is actually the most well-rounded brawler in the game right now literally any mode you can play him into any comp if you're facing throwers just break the wall if you're facing range you can kind of just tank some shots and get close because you have some range too if you're facing tanks that's really easy just open the walls and you shred them it grips just good into everything it's like a first pick and draft in competitive almost like 100 percent of the time when it's open at least in north america it's just a really good brawler i would definitely recommend using it um and yeah, it's going to be our number 7 brawler. So coming in at number 6, and these brawlers now are above a 60% win rate, which is pretty crazy considering this factors in literally every single Brawl Stars game in the world. So the fact that it's over 60% must mean it's a little bit busted, to be honest. We have Janet. Now, Janet, I don't really like playing Janet. I don't really like facing Janet. It's just one of the brawlers that I kind of wish wasn't in the game. Uh, but it is a very good brawler. Both star powers are good. Both gadgets are good. It's good in like every single mode. The only weakness I would say it has is it's not really good on heist where you have to deal damage to a safe. That's the objective to win. Yeah, you can hold good control with Janet, but you can't actually do damage to the safe too much with Janet. So that's really its only weakness is DPS. So you just need something else on your team that does some damage and Janet should be really good into every single comp. Uh, I don't know. It's just one of the best brawlers in the game has been for a while now and I would definitely Very much recommend using it coming in at number five with a 60.9 Win rate we have Bonnie so Bonnie. I don't know. It's a pretty fun brawler. Uh, it does a lot of damage It's interesting. It's a very unique brawler. No other brawlers are really like this where it has range It has tankiness. So it has 7.2 K HP, which is a lot of HP then you can kind of just jump out and go into this little form and deal tons of damage. You guys can see the safe is just like melting. And it has a lot of speed. It passively charges super, so you don't need to hit any shots in little form. It's a really good brawler. And even though it's not really meta in competitive because it gets countered pretty easily by brawlers like Colette and Carl, for example, it's still really good. It's really diverse. You can do a lot of stuff with this brawler. And I would definitely recommend using it when playing ladder. 
Almost a 61 run rate is, that's pretty crazy to say. And uh, it is a top five brawler on ladder. So uh, actually it might be six, I don't know. But let's move on to the next one and let's keep it going. Now coming in at a 61.7, which is a crazy number. And the biggest jump on this list so far is Eve. Now Eve from last week, the win rate has gone up almost 12 and a half percent which is pretty crazy so it was a below average brawler and now it is the fourth highest win rate brawler in the game now the new gears obviously change that the new gears are pretty busted and on what, what i call eve is just a range mr p that's all it is is a mr p that has range and can jump so it's pretty well rounded it's good at a lot of things and the gadget has brought it back into meta or the gear, I mean. Now, I'm not happy it's back in the meta, but it's a really good brawler, really well-rounded. It's good in all the modes, but again, kind of similarly to Janet, is it doesn't do a really high amount of damage. So if you're on Heist or something, or if Siege ever comes back in the game and you need to do damage, this is not the brawler that you're going to be looking to use if you want to be getting that damage. But it's really good at control. It's really good at everything else. It's really annoying. You guys know that. You guys play the game, game and you faced it. I would highly recommend using it. And this is the number four brawler and the biggest jump win rate brawler, I guess we'll say, in the game. So coming in at number three with a 64.2 win rate. Brawlers should not have this win rate, by the way. If brawlers have this win rate, like, they're too good for the game. There's no brawler that should have a 65% win rate. That's, like, kind of absurd. You win two, three, two thirds of your matches. Like, in my eyes, that means busted. I don't know about Supercell's eyes, but at least mine. Uh, but we have Otis. Otis is just really good everywhere. It's really good into everything. As you guys can see, I'm landing a bell with ease, as, and that's one of the best range brawlers in the game. But that's weird because I should not be doing that considering Otis counters tanks and mid-range as well so this brawler is just really good the only thing i would say is it doesn't do the greatest with walls so you can just walk around a wall and kind of peek and mute someone but if there's a thrower or something you're not gonna have a good time with it it's not really the greatest at peeking walls and stuff but i mean it's a really well-rounded brawler it's really good does a lot of damage especially with the damage gear uh i know holy sherlock moment right there um but yeah, I don't know. Gadget's good. Star power is good. Everything about it is good. I would definitely recommend using it, but Supercell has to nerf this thing, and I really hope they do. But that is going to be our number three brawler for today. Let's move on to the top two and show you guys what it is. So coming in at number two with a whopping 64.4 win rate, we have Gus. Now, Gus, Gus makes sense. I don't know. Gus is a really good brawler right now. It's easily the best support brawler in the game. You match it with something that does high DPS and they're just gonna shred whatever they want. It's just like you give an Amber who has 4.8K HP, a 3K shield, and just how are they supposed to die? On top of that, because of the star power, they're also gonna do additional damage. Like, it's just really silly, and it only takes four shots to get super, which is way too little. Considering you can shoot people from across the map, you have one of the longest ranges in the game. I don't know, it's kind of a silly brawler. Um, it's a little bit too good right now. The gadget's also broken with the fact that there's no way to counter it. If someone pops that little ghost balloon, whatever it is that's beside you, there's just no outplay to it. It's gonna hit you. And I really don't like when there's something like that in the game. If you guys look at Drage right here, he's just gonna walk up. He's not gonna worry about getting hit too much. He also does... Alright, you guys didn't see that black screen right there. He also does extra damage. I don't know. It's just broken. It needs to be nerfed. Again, I hope Supercell does... But it's not the most annoying brawler in the game, so I don't mind it being meta. It's just no brawler should be winning 65% of games. So let's move on to number one, and let's show you guys what the best brawler in the game is in terms of win rate. So coming in at number one with a 64.9% win rate, we have Sam. Now this brawler got nerfed recently. So it actually went down a little bit in terms of how much it won, but it's still a menace. So you guys can see this Gus, which is the second best brawler in the game in terms of win rate. That thing is not killing me. There is just no way. I mean, it kind of did over there, I guess. But like, it's, if I just throw my glove, whatever it is, against the wall, they just can't kill me. Like, there's just no way. And I find that to be a little bit silly. Now, it did get a necessary nerf. So good job, Supercell, on that one. Uh, but I still feel like it's a little bit too strong, uh, especially on ladder where it's really hard to kind of take something like this out that just has so much HP and you kind of need a group effort to do so. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the number one brawler. You can pretty much play it everywhere. I wouldn't really recommend playing it in like Bounty or something like that. But Brawl Ball, Gem, Heist, I mean, it's just a killer in those modes. So I would definitely recommend playing it there. But that is going to be it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed 
Um, it was really fun, you know, making this type of video. And if you guys like informative videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. But that's going to be it. Thank you, Drage and Fade, for playing. I will see you guys later. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? The most loved player on your team? And support your favorite creator at the same time? Well, I have good news. You can be all of that and more by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.